I already talked about uh, uh, some ideas about how we, we deploy <coughs> the system that we, uh, we needed. But now I go a little more in detail. Uh, we mainly use Java. This is not a course about Java. We avoid to do it, but at some points it's, in, it's impossible not to see that there is some inheritance that the fact that we use Java or Java-like languages. In the past we used C and C++. Okay, why we moved to Java? For a certain group of consequences. Of, uh, facts, uh, yeah, accidents, let's say. We could have probably used C or C++, but personally I find C++ not too object-oriented, uh, as much as uh, object-oriented that I want. And, uh, and uh, obviously the who use C++ C or C++ says, okay, uh, is much is faster than Java. You know, but the, what is fast or what is not, is not fast is not always uh, so clear. We use also Python scripting. Uh, using Python scripting came after a long way, uh, waning road uh, through different things. Bash, R. Finally we find Python. Python has a, a, some good characteristics. It's a, 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 in the last years, uh, there was a very vibrant a group of people that produced a very good tools for analyzing data. And uh, so there is a, a big movement of that. The other big thing of, uh, of, uh, of Python is uh, that is, uh, with Python is easy to englobe all softwares. For instance, software is written in Fortran. Fortran people now use Python. So it's, uh, it is going to become, at least in the uh, science, uh, hard science uh, areas, uh, a, a way to talk with other people that uh, do the same things. We also use OMS, which is Object Modeling System, version 3, actually. And we will be talking in a while about OMS, which is the system, the framework, that we use to for doing the components. This was mainly developed from uh, Colorado State University and uh, IRS of USDA in Fort Collins, but it behind has a long history that I will uh, I, I will tell you. And finally, we use a, a new tool which is Jupyter Lab. Uh, the effort before this tool was to try to use Jupyter Lab for doing everything. Uh, let's say outside and uh, le lefting the Java and the rest uh, behind it was not completely possible so far we realized but uh, we tried hard to do it Jupyter Lab is an environment that we will see in a, in a while there are competing solutions R, Fortran for instance I, I put there Earth Science Modeling Framework is a, a framework with the same ideas promoted by NCAP, a, a, a huge institution in the United States that do, uh, uh, that do um, meteorological and weather forecasting. Probably one of the most important, in, in, for, for sure one of the most important in the world. Well, for instance, uh, uh, Earth Science Modeling Framework, we promote a framework in Fortran. It's very invasive. People, and later on also, they, they now they have Python mining to the, their routine. So most of the people are the linkers who use Python to connect the, the part that uh, Anchor developed. Another thing can be C, uh, C Sharp and Open the Mind. <coughs> Why I am taking, telling, I, I'm giving you some alternatives which are close to hydrology. There are other alternatives that are in other science that were developed our science with. And uh, uh, 
uh, possible. Mm -hmm. C, C Sharp is the version of Java by Microsoft. It's a good language, but it's pretty limited to the, the, to the Windows, to the, the Microsoft uh, software and things. And we didn't want to do that. This is not completely true now, because there are ways to use uh, C, C Sharp also in Linux or in, a, in other platforms, but uh, it's not so easy as they, they can do. And OpenMI is a, a framework, a framework structure that was proposed by um, Wallingford Software, uh, 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 Deltares, uh, big companies that have a strong uh, de development of uh, tools in hydrology and hydraulics. And initially, we, uh, we worked with them. Actually, the version 2 of, of, of OpenMI was, um, let's say, designed here in Trento. Because the, the very first version of the things that we uh, will see in this course were, uh, were done in OpenMI. But we, we found OpenMI too invasive in the way we have to program. And the code was too large. The code we are writing now is one, uh, one half to of, of the code that we were writing for the same things in OpenMI. So uh, OMS is uh, all these things, uh, um, the principal architecture that uh, uh, we will show when we talk about OMS. <coughs> we, we have models, we have a, a simulation, we have a way to preserve the things that I didn't talk we have to pre uh, have trace of what we did in simulations, and uh, which is take into account to the possibility to inspect the code and uh, and to write the separately the, the simulations. We have a lot of metadata. We have web services, database, source repository from one side, and from the other side, we had a lot a lot of other things to to take care of. Uh, the component then are things like this, uh, like this. We have the input data, we have output data. We have one or more components that treat uh, one particular process. Uh, here we can have other components that uh, do the things. Uh, one particular thing that uh, you see here between these con two components is that they don't interact each other. In this case, uh, object, the object modeling systems take, take care to execute them in parallel. You don't have to take care. The framework does it for you. It's not the best of uh, efficiency, of the conceivable best, and it, 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 the, but it, it does uh, without giving you, uh, it, it's a way you have, uh, you, you program the usual way you do, and the things go, goes like that. Recently, also the, the uh, uh, people in Fort Collins that develop also the CSIP cloud service integration platform, meaning that if you develop things in the uh, inside the OMS free, then you can use this in a web service platform. You can deploy the, your work through through uh, the web, and uh, you can execute on remote machines. You can use uh, those infrastructures like uh, uh, Amazon Elastic Clouds and things like that. Um, so, okay, the here you have more uh, informatics uh, things. That, uh, say the cloud service integration platform is a SOA implementation. To, if you not want, uh, want to know what is a SOA implementation, just click on that uh, link. And you you go here. Uh, uh, actually, you see that uh, the thing starts to grow very big, in the sense that uh, uh, you have to know several things that you, you don't probably want to, to take care. But I just mentioning to you to uh, that that exists. There are also uh, when you have a service like that, uh, you you can deploy systems that work. So, for instance, on mobile using the back end of the, of, uh, of the servers. And this is a lot, a few services that 
were made by for um, for agriculture in the fields, for instance, here in the in the United States. We also uh, made use of some tools in Java, which are uh, we, we we want to mention, so which is GeoTools, which are the basic treatment of the uh, um, geographical object that we have inside. And uh, I also mentioned GeoSig because part of the things that uh, I will be uh, showing to you are uh, are also. Uh, uh, present in GeoSig, which is a, a open source uh, GIS. We try not to use GIS in this course. It is not possible to don't use GIS in this course, finally, after some discussions on something. But, uh, 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 but we will use uh, on a minimal basis. And we will not use GeoSig, we will use uh, FUJIS. Uh, the system that uh, components that we personally develop, so it costs GeoFrame, is that we have a, a, a several things, which is a GeoFrame blog spot. Is the is the blog where we put all the things, but actually it's not very up to date. We will up to date after this school with all the materials of this school, for instance. But that is uh, where the most of the things are concentrated. OMS come also with uh, some other tools, which is a console that we talk, uh, we talk about later on. And, uh, but uh, we find uh, a convergence in the use of JupyterLab that we are using also. This is a JupyterLab uh, first snapshot, uh, snapshot where you, you see how it's going to appear uh, the environment where you will work in these day, eight days, nine days. And uh, here you see, here you have your, your work uh, workflow, and here you have a way to browse the directory, same things. And uh, actually this part was motivated by, for the, the users who knows Mathematica, um, cannot not, uh, sh should recognize the not mathematical notebook has some things in this case. <coughs> and here you can mix text uh, calculations and also uh, you, uh, and also formulas. You can write formulas inside it. So you can really explain what you are doing and why you are doing, taking care of uh, the thing you are doing. And uh, but uh, Jupiter Lab uh, grew particularly in, in the last years. Yeah. Is and uh, you can do several nice things inside, and we will see some. Okay. Uh, this is instead the console of OMS. Unfortunately, we found a bug in the GeoTools or uh, or in a Wawar way to compile GeoTools. So the Macintosh users, who are the Macintosh users? <laughs> okay, we will have to use the console for other problems, but uh, that's not so so invalid. It's very easy. You don't know to, uh, almost not to, to know what, what the console is. There is there is some bug in the writing the some files. But this is what the console appears. Here and here what you see for the first time is a simulation file that we will explain in this today actually is the the day when we will explain this to Two things. So we can stop here for the moment and maybe going take a break and take uh, some coffee. So we can also say hello to the people that arrive a uh, little late. <laughs>